What is going on team? Yeah, the, uh, the CrossFit Games are underway. Bog, bog roll? Um... Doesn't really feel like it. You can't really see anything, but it's happening. And we will know about it tonight here in the UK or today in America. A lot of the athletes have already finished event one and event two. Friendly Fran and the Max front squat. But before the scores come in, I did tell you that I was going to give you my top five males and females for this year's qualifier and the people that I think will be going to the games. But before we get into that, the coverage so far kind of looks like the old school CrossFit coverage. It's, it's nice. They're like kind of back in the studio. Dave Castro is explaining what the equipment is. Um, it's basically a rope with some handles. And not only that, we have some up-to-date media with the athletes in their home boxes coming up on the show. And it's, it's, it's nice to see, you know, we can see that Eric Rosa does really appreciate the media aspect of the sport and the brand. And I feel like this is just the start when it comes to like content. Actually, speaking of Eric Rosa, he was the one that threw the first pitch. If you missed the video, he did Friendly Fran, uh, the scaled version of Friendly Fran, and put himself out there. Before I give you my top five athletes in each category, I know you're waiting. It's the most exciting thing ever of the day in the world. What will Craig Ritchie pick for the athletes? You naughty, naughty. You're teasing me, you naughty, naughty. <laughs> I'm going to give you my predictions for the winners of the four events that are happening today and see if they stack up with the leaderboard when it becomes live. Event one, I can't look past Matt Fraser winning it. Friendly Fran, he smashed 19.5 with thrusters and chest bar. And I feel like he's going to want to start off the CrossFit Games with a, just a dominant performance. On the female side, there's a couple of names that I'm really looking at. Carrie Pierce, Jamie Simmons, the Dark Horse, Emma McQuaid and Tia Claire Toomey. Those four I feel are going to be at the top of this workout leaderboard. All shorter athletes, good gymnasts. I feel like the shorter range of motion with the thrusters, but not too much of the added weight is going to pay benefit to the shorter athlete in this. Number two, max front squat. For the males, you know, we've got to look at the big dudes. David Trunke from the UK, 100 kilos, you know, weight moves weight. We saw that with Ronnie Coleman. Yeah! But also someone that a lot of people may not have heard of the guy that won the Norwegian CrossFit Championships. Griffin Rolliele, also known as CrossFit Thor. When you go through his Instagram, it's all about moving weight. And I feel like with the front squat, we're going to see him crush it. Also with that max front squat, we could be looking at Chandler Smith. We saw him lift heavy weight at the Rogue Invitational. I'm sure he's going to move some big weight at the Games. On the female side, Tia, we did see her win the CrossFit total at the Games. We saw her crush that clean and jerk at the Rogue Invitational, but I wouldn't look past someone like Laura Horvath to really give her a run for her money. Damn Diane looks a solid workout, you know? It's one of those ones where right now with me, with the back injury coming back from it, 140 touch and go deadlifts for 15 reps for three rounds just sounds impossible. Like I would not want to do that. Nope. Nope. You know, I'm going to say this over and over, but I feel like Matt is going to run away with this one. You know, when we went to Waterpalooza and we did those 50, Strict handstand push-ups for time. He crushed it and went unbroken. I'm sure with these deficit handstand push-ups, even though there is a pretty decent three and a half inch deficit, he'll go unbroken. And I feel like for a lot of athletes, it's not the deadlifts that are gonna fatigue them on this one. It's gonna be how good you are at handstand push-ups. On the female side, I'm gonna go Tia again. You know, like you, I say the name, but Matt and Tia, one of the things that they focused on a couple of years ago when they came out the games, they do this thing where they focus on one thing for a year and like really just wanna get good at it. And they did parallel handstand push-ups. Needless to say, when Rogue came around and there was the parallel handstand push-up event, they both crushed it. Again, this workout being a handstand push-up based workout, me looking at it, not trying it, I could be completely wrong. But right up there with her, we could be talking about Carrie Pierce if she can hold on to the deadlifts. We all know her as a great handstand push-up. We all saw her dominate the field at the CrossFit Games during Mary and she did most of her handstand push-up strict. So I feel like there'll be an interesting battle there. I feel like I'm talking really fast because I want to get through this. I want to bring you guys as much content as possible from my little UK home. I want to go in the CrossFit studio. It looks a lot and like, it looks really fun. <laughs> the 1000 meter row. When that came out, I was like, oh, yeah, that's bad. Guess who's blacking out? I reckon we're going to be looking at a sub three minute 1K off a couple of athletes, maybe holding a 127, 128 pace, maybe a 255 on the male side. And the athletes that I'm looking at there, Brent Fakowski, David Sharonke, the bigger, taller athletes. 
And I reckon on the female side, maybe around a 140 pace. Getting in at around 320, 330 pace, we'll see some of the top women. Sam Briggs, we all know she likes to go to the pain cave and she can hold on in good cardio workouts, so I can't look past her crushing this one. But also I can't look past Amanda Barnhart, Sarah Sigma's daughter, two tall athletes with long levers. Slightly on the heavier side too, gripping and ripping on the rower. Right, so my top five. My top five, I'm gonna totally agree with the people. The Morning Chalk Up did an informal poll with a load of CrossFit fans regarding the top five athletes, and this is what the poll said, and I couldn't agree more. In first, I can't see Matt being beaten. Speaking to him, he's in top shape, he's a winner, and I feel like this competition format, even though he's not up against people, he's, he's gonna give it everything in every workout, because that's the kind of person he is. Second, yeah, I can see Velna. All the bad finishes that Velna has had at the games in terms of the long open water swim, the crit race, the sprint where his foot went over the line and whatnot, that's all been taken away. As you can see from the seven workouts that have been released, they're all very CrossFit based and they're the kind of workouts that he likes. I think they have one and two pretty much sealed as long as nothing goes wrong. The battle for third and fourth, yeah, I can honestly see it between Noah and Goodmanson. Goodmanson, you know, he's just such a consistent athlete. He's always the dark horse, never really wins any part, but he's always in the top five. And when looking at some of the workouts, like Friendly Fran, like Damn Diane, they're workouts that really suit Noah. And then in fifth, Chandler Smith. He's one of those people that has been coming up over the years, and I feel like he's just hitting his stride. He's been placing well at competitions, and it's just gonna be interesting to see how he fares in this online competition. He's actually throwing down with Noah and Travis Mayer, so, they can kind of gauge off each other. But that, that is my top five. And then on the female side, the Morning Chalk Up came up with this. I would agree with Tia Claire Toomey being in first. She's used to the online format at the Rogue Invitational. She's just a very strong, all-rounded, no-holes athlete. But then my other four are kind of different. I think in the top four, we're going to see Jamie Simmons. To me, she's like the BKG of the, of the women's world. Super consistent, flies under the radar, and I'll put her in my top five. Same thing with Kristen Holte. You know, she stood on the podium last year at the CrossFit Games. She's not really that talked about, so she doesn't get that much hype. But again, she's a consistent quality athlete. Sarah Sigma's daughter this year has got rid of her coach. She swapped up her diet. And speaking to her, she feels better than ever. So I'll put her in my top five and then rounding it out, I think the workouts are pretty suited towards a Katrin Davis daughter. After speaking to Matt, she says she's a machine on the rower. These full send workouts we know she likes from the CrossFit Games. So this is my top five males and females. Put your top five down in the comments below and smash that like button. It really means a lot for you tuning in on these videos. I'm trying my hardest to make them. Can't wait for the leaderboard to come out tonight. I hope you have a good day, evening, week, month, wherever you are, and we'll catch you in the next one.